Santa Clara County Jail staff are once again under investigation, this time after a man turning himself in for murder told police that the jail turned him away. ABC 7 News reporter Katie Udis is live at the jail tonight with new details. Katie. Natasha, the correctional deputy involved has been reassigned during the internal investigation here at the jail. And you may recall the incident back in August with the alleged beating death of an inmate at the hands of several correctional deputies. Well, that and other incidents are being investigated by a Blue Ribbon Commission. I spoke with the leader of that commission who's concerned there may be a lack of training at the jail. The man arrested in connection to this San Jose murder scene turned himself in not once, but twice. He had advice or investigators that that's what, in fact, had happened. On Monday, 28-year-old Hugo Castro took San Jose police to a condo on 3rd Street, where 27-year-old Alessandra Barlas was discovered strangled and stabbed to death. Before that, he tried to turn himself in at the jail. The sheriff's office says Castro showed a note saying he knew the location of a body, but he never claimed responsibility for it. Well, Hugo told our investigators that he went to the sheriff's department and spoke to, I don't know who, but personnel at the sheriff's department, and he was referred here to the San Jose Police Department. The sheriff released the following statement. If the initial findings are true, then the custody deputy failed to meet the expectations of the department and will take appropriate action to deal with the deputy. A blue ribbon commission led by retired Judge LaDoris Cordell is auditing the jail. All the more important that we look into the training that is given to the correctional officers at the jail. She says currently correctional deputies are only required to have a high school diploma or GED. The commission will meet in November and present findings to the County Board of Supervisors. In San Jose, Katie Udis, ABC 7 News.